Hi friends, it's Gwen. This is going to be one of my super quick videos. I just have a question to ask you guys. Basically, I need to know if I should continue reading this book. So I'm going to start with Blacklight. I don't know if you remember that. I will link the video down below. But I read that, um, I think it was like November, October, no it was October that I read that book. And as I was reading through it, I just really wasn't attaching to any of the characters or the plot line or the story. I didn't think it was scary. But I pushed myself through the book. Basically I forced myself to read the book and I hated it. I could have spent that time probably reading two to three other books during that time because it took me forever to read that book because I just wasn't interested. The second book that that happened to was Winter Spell by Claire Legrand and for the first 155 pages I was forcing myself to read this book. Then on page 156 I fell in love with the book and from 156 to the end of the book I really enjoyed it. There were still parts that were a little eh for me. I talked about this as well so I will link that in the description box as well. But now I am currently reading The Wicked Girls by um, Alex. Sorry, I'm like fumbling with my book. Um, currently I am reading The Wicked Girls by Alex Marwood. It is this book and it was a 2013 Thriller Award finalist. Um, and then Laura Lippman did a little blurb here on the front, ingenious and original, delivering a twist of an ending that I never saw coming, in short, a knockout. And there's been other blurbs by um, Jojo Morris from the New York Times, the best-selling author of Me Before You, um, Elizabeth Hayes of Into the Dark Corner. Um, there's just, and it sounds so good. Let me read you the back. It says, how well can you know anyone? On a fateful summer morning in 1986, two 11-year-old girls meet for the first time. By the end of the day, they will both be charged with murder. 25 years later, journalist Christy Lindsay is reporting a series of sickening attacks on young female tourists in a seaside vacation town when her investigation leads her to interview carnival cleaner Amber Gordon. For Christy and Amber, it's the first time they've seen each other since that dark day so many years ago. Now with a new vastly different lives and unknowingly families to protect, will they really be able to keep their wicked secret hidden? Gripping and fast-paced with an ending that will stay with you long after you've read it, The Wicked Girls takes you to a thrilling dark place you've never seen before. So, I mean, it sounds so good, but I am struggling to read it. I picked it up a few days ago, and I'm only on page 50, and I really don't have a lot of time to dedicate to reading during the daytime now because college classes have started up again. I am working some days. I have a lot of meetings and other business to take care of. But when I am reading, I want to be enjoying what I'm reading. And so far in January, I've had a really great reading month. And then I picked this up, which I was really excited for. I just randomly plucked it off of my TBR shelf, which if you guys do not know, this entire shelf behind me is my TBR shelf. So there's that. But I don't know, should I continue reading it? Should I put it down and pick something else up? I'm the type of person that I only usually read one book at once. I've kind of deviated from that a little bit. But I'm either going to power through it and continue reading it or I'm gonna put it down and pick up something else how do you judge whether to stop reading a book or not so to be read or not to be read that is the question please please help me with this leave your thoughts and comments down below I would love to hear from you that is the reason for this video just that quick question please help talk to you later bye